If it sometimes seems as if the orange traffic barrel has become the new symbol of our region, the members of the Allegheny Conference may have only themselves to blame. It wasn't all that long ago that the lousy state of our region's infrastructure was national news. 60 Minutes flew by the Greenfield Bridge and used it as an example of everything that was wrong with decaying infrastructure nationwide. It wasn't just the lack of basic maintenance and repairs for crumbling roads and bridges. Public transportation was also strapped for cash. Declining service put even more pressure on highway infrastructure. It all was getting in the way of selling our region to local companies considering expansion and outside companies looking to invest here. Transportation infrastructure is always one of the top 10 site selection factors. Transportation is vitally important to existing companies in the region. One of the more important things about being a company that's primarily involved in innovation and, and creativity is the ability to draw people from a diverse background. So the more avenues and ways of connecting our talent to our workplace, the better. In 2011, Dennis Yablonski, Allegheny Conference CEO, was appointed to the Governor's Transportation Funding Advisory Commission, or TFAC, with leaders from across the state. Our affiliate, the Pennsylvania Economy League of Greater Pittsburgh, provided the committee assistance in finding recommendations to fill the transportation funding gap. Another conference affiliate, the Greater Pittsburgh Chamber of Commerce, began advocating for these recommendations statewide, helping to gain bipartisan support for these recommendations. By 2013, we had a legislative solution to the problem. But then, the Pennsylvania budget passed, but with no increase in transportation investment as recommended by TFAC. Back in uh, June of 2013, when the budget passed uh, and there was no transportation funding, uh, I think there was a lot of frustration uh, in the community. And we had to try to bring all the folks in the Senate and the House, Democrats and Republicans, urban and rural together, and that was a, as a challenge. So that was a pivotal point in, in the states uh, moving forward, but also this region's moving forward. The chamber and the conference rallied groups across the state to urge lawmakers to put the bill up for a vote again. The turning point may have been this big rally at the Capitol, where a multitude of groups and some pretty strange bedfellows appeared. AARP was concerned about accessible sidewalks for the elderly. Farmers needed to get crops to market. Our labor unions saw big potential for job creation and bike advocacy groups to meet the needs of our growing population of millennials. With bipartisan support, Act 89 passed that same month. It was a long, multi-year effort. It required maximum effort on our part as part of a coalition, and we were active in bringing the coalition together. Uh, the uh, the work and the partnership with labor was a very important part of that. And, uh, um, and so, yeah, I think it was one of the highlights, uh, successful highlights of our advocacy work over the last, uh, certainly over the last five years. As a region, we realized this issue would take a long time to advance. By working together and finding common ground, we collaborated on a long-term solution. So next time you're sitting in traffic, remind yourself, this is what progress looks like. And yes, thanks to your support of the Allegheny Conference, you can give yourself some credit along with some of the blame.